Alrighty folks, welcome back to CERT. We're adventuring through space, although we've gone on an adventure, reached a, some kind of dead end, although we've collected, I guess, I guess story-wise, are we resetting? Are we going back in time? Or are we just like walking backwards? We get, we get back off the train, we get back on the ship, and then we're back where we are and we've collected that piece. I guess that's probably what's happening. So it's not as though this is happening again. It's just that I'm back in this location, which is the ship. I'm going to assume it's that, um, rather than a kind of rewind type of situation. Anyway, so we'll just immediately continue to the next page. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, okay, so now we're back here and we know how this rule works. We don't yet know how question mark works. I mean, I would assume it means like uh, any letter or something, but I guess maybe we'll find out later. So, um, so each thing goes in one puzzle. So we've only actually used, I don't have an eraser here, do I? I don't think so. So we've got, we do actually still have these. Oh, I guess I can, you can select and delete. Okay, that's cool. So then we just put that back in. Neat. Uh, maybe I should draw it the way I've been drawing it in other places this and like this uh, and that had hold there hold there hold there and hold there for west alrighty um so that's those gone um four by four grid what can we work out so this needs three things in it and that needs three things in it. we've got those zeros here which is unfortunate but that means like here, we're definitely not using that. We're definitely not using this. We're not using anything that's three wide. Um, but there are lots of one wide things or two wide things that we could be using. Uh, I, th I think it sort of implies, mm, no, I'm not sure actually. I was thinking like, are there gonna be a bunch of shapes like this or something like that? Not necessarily. <clears throat> Which thing can we constrain first? So two here, only two in that space. So that could be like that. That would be two. We'd have two here already, but then we wouldn't be able to do these, right? Would we? Well, you could be, uh, no, we could, because one of them could be the one, and then the other could be like this. Well, I feel like I'm guessing my way all the way through this, but that seems to work, doesn't it? Oh no, because that's made that, that. Uh, maybe that doesn't work then. The single there, you're there. In fact, oh, I don't have another one of those, so no, that doesn't work at all. all right, let's take that back. Two. Three. I, I need to find out, like, instead of guessing, because, like, I just went, oh, I could do this as well. <laughs> it would also be two, and I think I'd be able to do three. Uh, but I don't want to guess. I want to actually deduce where the things should go. <clears throat> so, uh, two and two. Three and three. So, two along here. Gosh, it feels like there's a lot of options really does feel like there's a lot of options. Three and three. I've got to remember that I've also got to fill this one in at some point, but again, it doesn't need to be filled. Like I might only be using like one of the shapes on here, possibly, who knows. Uh, so. If we need three along there, it's going to have to be not those two, some combination of these. <clears throat> uh, so if it's going to be some combination of those, and there's going to be two, and, and that's true here as well. So that three and that three must be some combination of these in both of them. Of course, if there's something like this, 
going from that row to that row, then that was a two. That's going to contribute contribute a two on the bottom row, or or this one would contribute a two on the top row. In which case, the other one would have to be a single. Right. If like if we did this then the row that has two in it would need to have a, the single in it plus another one of those. Oh, in which case that can't happen. Oh, is that the deduction? No, that can happen because a, another shape could go like this. N not that, but well, like this, for example. Oh, that ends up working, doesn't it? <laughs> Does that end up working? Three? Three, two, two, it does. And in theory, we could put a, oh no, the single's there already. Hmm. Once again, I feel like I've, in, in like testing out a theory, like trying to understand how things are constrained, I've ended up at something that works. And I didn't fully deduce my way there, but okay. Um, excuse me, I was just tipping, taking a sip of water. Uh, all right. So what would this mean if they were like that? Let's draw them in. How many shapes get used there? It's quite a lot, I think. That, this, like that, like that. Is that five? So that's one of these. Oh, are they the same? They're all the same, okay. Two of those, in fact. One of those, the single and the two. That leaves these three left over, which would fit in here, okay. And would only fit in one way, I think. So circle, uh, circle, circle, circle. Let's just hope we get a word. That's the thing about the word constraint is that like using it as a clue is that I, um, like I can't use that as part of the deduction of figuring out where to place things. I can only use it once I've placed them. Well, unless I do things like, oh, is it likely our world would begin with this letter? But then that's not really a deduction. <laughs> um, but anyway, I think this does spell a word. I think it spells the word right, which feels pretty good. 11, right. Right, 11. Yep, right. Red is gray, yellow is white. Right. Wait, red is gray, is yellow white? <laughs> what are you saying? Red is gray, is yellow white? Red, white, how does yellow fit into this? Right. I can see how it's like red and white. Where's the gray? I have no idea what you're saying. 11 to 18, uh, let's go to 18. <clears throat> All right. You worry briefly whether it's bad form not to, to say starboard, but nonetheless the ship turns in a wide arc, heed heedless of your concerns. Within a few minutes, large hexagonal rocks begin to jut upwards out of the nothingness of space, quickly becoming denser and denser until the ship is scraping on top of them. The scraping of metal against rock attracts attention. Tiny furred crab-like figures emerge from behind the rock, clustering curiously around your boldly amphibious vehicle. Atop some of the Atop some of the taller rocks are familiar looking trays with scattered metal pieces. You pick one up and study it. The tray appears normal, but the pieces seem to be seem to strongly repel each other, almost like magnets. The ship is slowing down. Hmm. Hex <clears throat> hex shaped holes on puzzle pieces work the same way as circles do. However, a hex can never be placed adjacent to another hex or a circle, not even diagonally. Okay. Okay. So the circles and other hexes must not be in the surrounding spaces. Curious. Um, I was expecting I was going to have to like push them away from each other. So like they can't be adjacent to each other because of the whole magnetism thing. But no, it's just to do with the hexes. So, um, I mean, but am I putting every shape in? Like we've already determined that, that we don't always have to. So that is a weird rule, isn't it? Uh, I mean, we can't, unless you're going there. But then we're going to use these three spaces. Like, if you're there, uh, I guess you could go in the corner. 
then only these three are blocked off, which is pretty decent. But then they've got loads of spaces things could go. Oh no, because you would have to be away from you. But then which way around do those go? Maybe I'd figure that out by the um by the word rule. So it's either Oh, that doesn't matter. <laughs> it's the same word either way. Push. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that was silly. 19. Push. Um, Okie dokie. Push. 19. The only language a crate understands. Indeed. Uh, 19 to 6. We are really going on the edge here. It takes more effort than you would expect to squeeze the last piece into place on the metal tray, but as soon as you do, the ship lurches forward with regain, regained momentum. The third creatures rumble with delight, scuttling around and, and under the creaking vessel. It seems that the energy of solving these puzzles can be used for propulsion in this causeway. After a moment spent pondering how many puzzles you might need to solve to get anywhere, you realize that you can just remove and reinsert the last piece of your current puzzle as many times as needed. I see. Wow, we have perpetual energy. Uh, before long, though, the rising rocks get steeper and steeper, and the power of this small puzzle becomes less and less. On a nearby rock, you quickly spot what you need. A bigger puzzle. Cool. Um, hairy types carve goofy euros. Of course they do. Um, okay, so those two are going to repel. Well, going to repel everything. Um, Does it make sense to try and put them in a place that would, well, you're going to have a lot of stuff surrounding you. Uh, I mean, so one thing that might make sense is to interlace you and you with this end in there. So something like that. Um, then we struggle to have positions for you, actually. So that's not going to work. Oof, what are the constraints of these kinds of shapes on here? Uh, where could these go that would leave space for these two? <clears throat> well, they can't go next to each other, so they'd have to go like... Ah, like that. Okay, understood. So the shapes are all going to go like this-ish. But these can swap over and these two can swap over. Okay, so right now you would be conflicting with that. So one of those two is wrong. Should we try flipping you? Now you are conflicting with that. Okay, so let's instead flip you and figure out which way around this could go. So you're going to be that, uh, but you don't conflict because you're a circle, you would conflict with that. So it's that and that, and then the next two must fit in perfectly. So circle there, there. Uh, this hopefully doesn't conflict, and neither should this. You do conflict with that. Hmm. I thought I'd found the only way that could go, but apparently not. Um, let's try it again. So I think they have to go like in these arrangements, right? Or is there a way to interlace them that ends up working? I don't think so, because only this can interlace with this, and then we end up with a shape that is this large. And then there's definitely no place I could put that that would leave space for these. Definitely not. Okay, so no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are the only arrangements that work. Oh, but there is the flipped arrangement. Aha, there is like this, like this. Okay, that's probably what I'm missing. <clears throat> so maybe you here, and there would have to be that one there. Those are fine. And then you there. And then you there, that doesn't conflict with anything, does that one? That one would have to conflict with one of those, well, any of those, or that one there, which it doesn't. Okay, that's right. Okay, so this here with a hex there and a hex, I'm not drawing a hex. Uh, this here 
with a circle there and a circle there. And which way round is it? It was this one at the top. The circle here, and then this one here. Cool. <clears throat> uh, with a hex here. And what word do we get? H E he heaves. Okay, heaves, that's a word. We pushed and then we heaved. Oh, okay, yeah, actually, the, the smaller puzzle pushed and now the bigger uh, puzzle heaves. H, where's H? Where is it? Heaves. Roof hoverings. What? <laughs> Roof hoverings. Boomer, like boomerangs, hoverangs, eaves. Oh, like eaves. Eaves with an H. <laughs> heaves, sure. <laughs> seven <laughs> to 22. We were on seven, right? Were we? I think we were actually, yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay, 22. Let's just double check. It was 22. Eaves, 22. Okay. Neat. Ooh, looks like we're going to collect another piece, maybe. Gathering your strength, you slam the final piece into the puzzle and your ship soars up the mountainside, hovering in midair for a moment before crashing down next to the peak. On the very highest rocks is an especially ancient furred crab, its whiskers and mandibles grey and faded. It regards you dispassionately for a moment, then opens its mouth and intones a deep baritone. The path is scrambled. Its message... Delivered, the creature pauses, then begins to hack and cough violently, disgorging an, an odd fragment of metal and crystal, perhaps part of a larger object. Uncomfortably, you wipe it off and take it with you. It seems to be all that's there. Fill in the icon. Gosh, it moves. Fill in the icon. Uh, at the bottom left of these pages, so that you've collected this fragment. This has no effect on so, but you may be asked about it later. When, you, when you're ready, return to the hub page marked with the the house. Okay, so we're going straight back to the ship again. We've not found a new hub. Here it is. Wait, so has that told us anything about the other puzzle here? There's a question mark. I mean, maybe we can just already solve it, all right? Um, we've got three pieces left. Uh, so, uh, I mean, it has to go. Oh gosh, it moved. Uh, like this, like, oh gosh. Okay, I'm not sure how this is gonna work with me overlapping the other layer that I've drawn on. Oh, oh, there's hexagons. I didn't even notice the hexagons. All right, uh, it's a circle. So we've got a question mark in our words. Uh, hexagon. I can't draw that. Um, that. <laughs> Wait, can I not, can I double click to continue editing or, <laughs> oops, I accidentally left the, uh, left the full screen mode. Um, can I, <laughs> I'm going to do that. <laughs> there we go. And then bring you out oh, and bring you back. I'll do. So you see, you see, ah, what? Oh no, I've put the circle, it's in the wrong place. I guess I could have drawn the circle anywhere. U, P, R. No, just up. Up question mark. <laughs> the R's not circled. Uh, up on page 11 with a question mark. <clears throat> up question mark. Casual abbreviation of the formal greeting SUP. <laughs> nice. Uh, 11 to 24. This is cool. Uh, 24, you enter the direction uncertainly, but the, <laughs> right, with a question mark, but the ship immediately jolts, flinging itself upwards, not any upwards direction you're familiar with, but unmistakably an ascension. The black space around you becomes lighter and brighter, glowing until it becomes unbearable, and then you pop out of a cloud bank, floating in the pristine blue sky. The air around you teems with perfect mathematical concepts, which you can only barely visualize as golden numbers and formula. A crystallized platonic ideal of a puzzle ambles up to the ship's railing and confidently introduces itself, preening its elaborate solve path. It seems like it wants you to try it. I do like the story here as well. Very weird and abstract, but fun. Um, all right, we're combining the two things here. Got it. Um, 
so. Uh, four. So, okay. So we need a bunch of them all down here in such a way. I mean, they can all be circles. Um, but they also can't like all be in the middle because then we have space for the others. Two of them could be. Or, yeah, two, two of them would have to be. Yeah, two of them would have to be at the edge. Um, uh, and so then those are alternating and those two are like that. And that's a four, that's a one. Okay, so we know there's only one in this space and we know there's two in that space. Okay, so when we know this, because they're all the same shape. All right. Um, we don't know whether whether they're hexes or circles yet, but that's fine. We can start with just this. We do know that there's going to be one here, and we do know there's going to be one here, and we do know there's going to be one here. Um, now, they do all have a circle on, so therefore, whatever's here is not going to be one of the hexes, right? Because the hex there would be bad, and the hex there would be bad, yes. In fact, getting these hexes away from stuff is going to be tricky. But yes, this is not a hex. And it's especially not a hex there. If, uh, wait, what do you say especially? I already know it's not a hex. It's not a hex here, it's not a hex there. Okay, so that's not a hex there. So then that is a circle one. Can I say the same about this one? Yes, because, well, not necessarily, because there could be a hex here and a circle here, and they'd be away from each other. Oh no, there can't be a hex there. It would be there or there, and the one that's here would definitely conflict with it. So, so this is a circle as well. Circle, circle, surely the same logic applies here, but I'm gonna redo it in my head. So either here or here, and this is a circle. Mm, not necessarily. Oh no, so that wasn't true, right? Because there could have been one here with a circle here, and then a hex that way. That could be a hex. I think it's then going to be difficult to put in another another he hex. One, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, yes, maybe. Actually, I'm not certain. Um, hold on. So I know this one's a circle. And if this one's a circle, it means that this one's a circle. No, it doesn't because there could be a circle here and a hex here. Uh, okay, hold on, I'm not factoring this one very much. So there's only one up here. That doesn't change the fact that you could be there or you could be there. Well, I know that that never has a thing in it. We can cross that off. Um, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things filled in, and total there are going to be 12. So there's five left to fill in. Uh, three of them are adjacent to these, and then there's two more. Yeah, so it's going to be like those three, and then two over here. That means you're not going to be filled in, not necessarily. It could be that one, those two, and then one of these. I do think it means that one thing is going to be either here or here, but not in both. Yes. And depending on where I put that, the other one could be there or it could be there. Okay, what does this mean? Um, well, if we put one here, it can't be a hex. Oof, this is tricky. Um, so, uh, uh, can I definitely not say anything about these two yet? Well, 
Do I know that there's not going to be a, a hex here? No, not really, because these can all be clear. But it would force the other hex to be near another circle, right? Because two of the circles are on the right. So if this were a hex, these would all have to have no shape in them. Therefore, we wouldn't be putting a thing there, and we'd be putting a thing there. So then the hex would have to, the other hex would have to be... Uh, well, it couldn't be here. It couldn't be here. It couldn't be here. Yeah. Is that true? Yes, that is true. At least one of these would be a rightward circle. So the hex can't go there. So this is a circle. So I know this is a circle. Uh, and I know this one's a circle. So this is going to be about where can the hexes go. Um, my instinct is... What is my instinct? My instinct is like here, a hex. And then circle there. So that's a hex. Circle. Is this my instinct? No. No, not at all. Yeah, this won't work. Okay. So instead... Uh, so that was me putting a hex there, which forced you to be over that way. Right, okay, so depending on where I put the hex, if I put it here, uh, it forces those two over to the side, in which case things don't fit anymore. No, that's not true. They can fit. In fact, that might be it. That is it. Okay. Ooh, no, because we need another hex somewhere. Can the other hex fill, fit in from this? So hex here, circle, circle. This would have to be a circle. Hex here. Yeah, okay, that works. All right. So this would have to be circle left, circle left, hex here. Truism, that is a word. Okay, woohoo, that works. <laughs> that was tough. Um, truism, 25. Da, da, da. An outburst of fury, it's everyday life. An outburst of fury. Uh, truism. Oh, sure. Truism. <laughs> I don't understand. Um, 25 to 38. We were on page 25, right? We were. 25 to 38. 38. The puzzle puffs out of existence. Terry top like as you and wait, what? Ter terry top like? What's the terry top? Uh, Terry Top like as you announce its solution. You're uncertain whether that was the right choice, but it seemed happy with the outcome. Your ship sails on through the cloud of math, eager puzzles chittering and prinking for a chance to be seen. Do you do your best to ignore them. At last you spot what's, what must be your destination, a magnificent treasure chest vis visible in the belly of a large puzzle. The puzzle stirs, looks up at you, and snorts a small cloud of black givens. Extending its X wings, it challenges you to solve it if you can. Black givens, like given spaces that must be, I don't know. Uh, extending its X wings, it challenges to solve it, if you can, sure, whatever. Um, okay, so it's just another one, right? There's no new rule here, it's just more complicated. Four. Uh, well, that's tricky, actually. That's actually really tricky. We've got two, then the rest has to be singles only. So there can't be a three, so not you, not you. Well, maybe you. Two, yeah, it's going to be you, you, or y yes, it's going to be you and with a single here, a single here, and a two from one of these. Okay, so it's going to be something like 
this, 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 this. What have I used? I've used this and this and this and this. And then we have that and that left, which I cannot use. Which means I gotta do something differently, obviously. I guess actually no, so one of these could be part of it because I can interlace you and you together. So it could be like this two one one. Yeah, and that's still four. And what's left here? So we've got you, you, you this left and this left you and you well that can't fit in right now but is there some way I could have rearranged this what if they had been the other way around well they still only leave one space at the top but if that one space is close enough to uh, like in theory, we could fit this in, like this. Aha. One, two, three, four. Uh. Mm, now we can't fit this in. So we've used you, we've used you, you used this and that. Okay, no, that didn't quite work out. Although that could have been, ah, uh, okay. That could have been that. So now we've used you, 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 and these two are left, which we can do. This is ambiguous. But maybe we, oh, it doesn't matter because it doesn't have a hole in it. Okay, so A, oh, should we draw them in the proper way? Like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. And we can put the other one wherever we like. We'll do hum. Uh, the A, the O. Oh, oh no, we need to work out the hexagons as well. Oh no, yeah, okay, there are problems. <laughs> this does not work. I completely forgot about hexagons being a thing. Uh-oh. This is gonna be more complicated than I expected. Um, okay, so four needs, okay, so these can't interlace like that. They can only interlace the other way. Right, like this. And if they can only interlace that way, then where would they go to allow like this shape to still fit? Well, they wouldn't allow it to fit up at the top. So you'd have to go down there or something. But then I don't think I can do the rest. What if we use, we use you and you. Oh no, maybe we can, yeah, we can. Ah, that's probably what we're doing. Do the hexes work out? There's a hex, there's only one hex, it's you. Are you away from yeah, I think you are, okay. So this, this, that. <laughs> I think I made it worse. Um, this, wait, are the numbers satisfied? I think they are. Yeah, four, one, what's left? You're going down there. Uh, you, 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 just you. Okay, we'll do home again. Okay, and yeah, the one and the, oh, in fact, that does constrain that. All right. Um, so hex is away from everything else. Yes, it is. You go there, you go there, you go up there, and then you go there. So exist, okay. X wings, X ist. Oh, it's going to be another, because the previous one was something else. Oh, no, it's ism. Okay, exist. Uh, what page is it? 39. Exist. Vegan. Exist. Vegan. Exist. <laughs> what? <laughs> exist. I'm trying to, like, say it in weird ways. Exist. Exist, eggs, ist, it's like eggs. <laughs> e 
I don't understand. <laughs> Maybe I, I might need to think about these more. These are the hardest puzzles in the entire game. It's figuring out what the definitions mean. Uh, 39 to 16. Oh, 16. <laughs> for some reason, I was looking for 39. Uh, 16. Every stratagem, strat, yeah, sure, exhausted, the ancient puzzle collapses against the prow of your ship, its bifurcations unraveling before your eyes, and its last moments it whispers to you in something more and less than words. More and less. Seek the spaces between, and then it is gone. Now revealed to the air, the chest is swarmed over by hordes of tiny lemmers, which crack it open easily despite its size. The side is merely a tiny trinket of crystal and metal, perhaps cracked from some larger object. You take it as spoils with a nod of respect to your fallen foe. Fill this in. Oh, there is going to be a like, there's like a meta puzzle, right? Because we didn't, we don't have another puzzle to do at the home. Oh my gosh, what's it going to be? I, should we save it for next time? I don't know how long next time will be. How many pages have we done? Let's just judge by scrolling through. Mm, we're basically done, aren't we? Uh, no, there's, there's a few things. There's a few things. Okay, we'll save it for next time. So we'll go back to the home. Um, and then the spaces between. There's clearly something else we can do here. I think I have an idea what it might be but we'll see you next time. All right, see you then, folks. Goodbye.